Luke Holmes, she got the best of me on B105. It's Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren. And it's Thursday, another day to win cash, too. Your chance to win up to 30,000 smackaroos. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. 30,000 bones. 30,000 clams. Clams? 30,000 doubloons. No. No. Whatever kind of coinage your money. B105, it's Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren. And we got the B105 buzz brought to you by East Central Energy, member-owned, homegrown, community-focused since 1936. What's happening? So we all know that um, potholes, it's pothole season, basically. Yeah. Oh, I thought that you were going to weigh in on potholes well, in it's Superior. A, it's not, it, it doesn't seem like it was that bad of a year, though, because we didn't have that cold of a winter, and it wasn't that bad. But. but I think it's been such like a strange few winters that that's making it worse, maybe, because mm-hmm. we had such a bad winter and then not really a winter this year. Like, my street is crazy. Like, I... I that's a terrible road. Yeah it's, yeah, it's absolutely crazy. So Jim Payne, the mayor of Superior, yesterday he shared his plan for fixing potholes. He said pothole patching, excuse me, won't cut it this summer. So we added an extra $1 million to our street maintenance fund. He also said they're doubling their annual budget. Um, they're going to focus on repairs on Tower Avenue first. And then he said we'll have plenty left over for more projects. So he's tackling it head on. Of course, this is a very controversial topic. People get very um, passionate about it, but it's good that he is addressing it. Don't uh, blame the potholes for your problems. It's your own asphalt. That was a good run. Should have saved it for the lap off. I've used it before. It's the don't don't blame the road you're on for your problems. It's your own asphalt. Nice. <laughs> okay, moving on. Hey, speaking of things, <laughs> nice transition. Did you see the 40th Avenue West Bridge is going to be closed indefinitely? I did not. Yeah, so there was a truck, had a load too high, ran into the bridge, hit it in multiple locations, and damaged the beams of the bridge. So now they got to have a contractor come in, extern- determine the extent and repairs, and they have no idea when it's going to be open to the public. So there's a detour around that, but 40th Avenue West, uh, that bridge going over I-35 is shut down. Well, for quite some time. You know, if it's not a road construction project, it's another one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Something and yeah, like that. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to be messing with bridges lately. That's for sure. Coming up next, uh, Chase Beckham on B one hundred five. John Party, dirt on my boots on B one hundred five, and we got Lauren's country showdown. What's happening today? What's trending? So Jelly Roll, he is apparently working on new music. He has had just like a crazy few years. And um, he was at the Grand Ole Opry on Tuesday night, and he played his classics, you know, his hits, but he also debuted a new song. He said he doesn't know if he's ever going to release it out in the wor- into the world, but he's like, I'm going to play it right now and see if it works, see how you guys feel about it. The song is called Liar, and Machine Gun Kelly was in the audience. Okay. Vibing to it, standing up. Everyone else was sitting down. Machine Gun Kelly was at the Grand Ole Opry? Yeah, I met him once um, when I interned at a radio station in college, and I was, like, kind of scared of him because, like, he's got a vibe. Yeah. And they made me take a picture with him. Do you have a picture of the machine? Yeah, but I can't find it. And now he's, like, so famous. Funny. He was was nice, I think. Wow. I didn't want to take a picture with him. And look where you are now. What what, what, what does that mean? Well, I was saying it's a good thing, you know. You went interned, a star of the morning. Lauren star of the morning, Wells. Love it. Let's not. If you manifest it, it'll happen. Yeah, so anyways, um, you can hear that clip, see what else he's been up to, B105Country.com. You're going to roll your eyes at this, and that's fine, because I kind of did too. Marin Morris, she said she wants to open her own bar in Nashville now. Okay, whatever, Marin. <laughs> yeah, so I kind of feel like she stepped in it, you know, oh, when totally. she was like, I'm leaving country, and then now I feel like she's kind of like, where do I go now? Yeah, maybe thing. I'm coming she back. Had a, I, I don't want to say she had a good in country music. She was standing up for what she believed in, whatever, but she was like a top, you know, female yeah. artist. Mm-hmm. So anyway, she just was on the Late Show with Stephen Colbert. She has a kid's book out now, so she was promoting that. She says she might open a restaurant or open a bar in Nashville. She said that's actually always been a goal of hers because she wants to open a bar and call it my church. Well, good for her. You do you, Marin. Wish you the best. Yeah, I don't know how that would go for her. Anyways, got to end. Yeah. What? I said I probably wouldn't go to it, but. No. It's just, it was just insulting the way she did it. Yeah, you know? and then now she's like, oh, I'm not leaving. That's what it's bothers weird. me about it. It's one thing, like, okay, if you want to leave, leave, but don't, you know. Right. 
Well, our unproblematic king, Chris Stapleton, he was on Jimmy Kimmel last night, and he's saying it takes a woman off his latest album. He did it on the outdoor stage, which it's the first time any artist has done that since COVID, which is kind of crazy. But um, as always, gotta love him. So you can watch his performance now. You can also see his SNL skit on v 105 Country. That's a great skit. It's so funny. That was such a good episode for Saturday Night Live, and there's not been many Saturday Night Live episodes that were that good that I can remember. Did you see the Beavis and Butthead thing with Ryan Gosling? Um, yeah, I saw oh, that. Oh, gosh, too. that was funny, too. I Man. love everything that Ryan Gosling does. Okay, settle down, Lauren. <laughs> Settle down, Lord. Okay, good morning. 7.07. We've got to make some time here because we yeah. got uh, Brandy's a question here in a couple things minutes. Things to do. Yeah, things to do, places to be. Well, mm-hmm. right here. But. So I won yesterday, <laughs> and I'm going to go first. Well, that was a very conceited laugh. <laughs> no more alpaca jokes for oh, now. Oh, darn. Yeah. Ken, what did the foot say to the leg? You're so hip. Why are you thinking so hard about that? It's very straightforward. How do you know I was thinking that hard about that? Because you were like looking around. Just... It seemed like you were trying to. Okay. Why did I use this one yesterday? If you did, it still counts. Okay. I got such good jokes. I don't care if I use this one twice. My piano teacher told me it'd never be any good. On my way out, I turned around and I said, I'll be Bach. I didn't use that one. I don't think so. That's a funny joke, though. Good Bach and Johann Sebastian. Yeah. Was it Johann Sebastian? That's not my forte I don't or area know. of expertise. Johann Sebastian Bach. Yeah, right. Okay. Got it. Well, thank you for clarifying that. Can I finally trimmed my eyebrows? Change the way I see the world. It's close to home to me because I've got a lot of eyebrows. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. i got a lot of eyebrows. Okay. Lauren, what happens when a frog's car dies? It gets a jump. But if that doesn't work, he has to get a toad. Toad? I feel like frog toad jokes. No don't. work? I wow. feel like it's just like a given, you know? Okay. Okay. Last joke here. Ken, what sort of relatives do your feet have? Just aunts and ankles. <laughs> hey, you're going to hurt yourself. Rolling your eyes. So far back into your head. You better have a good joke here. I have a good joke. Okay. Aunts and ankles. I thought that was good. I don't know. I'm just not getting the foot jokes today. Guess not. Lauren, my buddy asked how much my wife will spend on a bottle of nice wine. I said about 20 minutes. (laughs) That's funny. (laughs) Your wife doesn't drink wine. (laughs) No, not anymore. (laughs) She likes other things. That was good. (laughs) Good. I'm not going to do feet jokes anymore. I have one more. Two, oh, I have three more. I'll spread them out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a plethora of them. That's great. <laughs> 709 at B105. Stay tuned tomorrow for more feet jokes here on The Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren. No. B105 Breakfast Club, Ken and Lauren. Good morning. It is 718, and uh, we've got your brain teaser question. If you want to go over yesterday's real quick. We sure can. The average person spends eight hours a year stressing over this. The answer is taxes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very stressful. Very stressful this year. Not as stressful as Ken's experience, but we don't need to talk about that unless we talk about it during Breakfast Club Confessions. Oh, you mean about the whole, yeah. <laughs> that was... Um, <laughs> or not, or we don't have to go there. It was pretty much stressful from uh, April 14th through yesterday, but that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You just, like, you compounded the stress. It was just over the course of a few days. Yeah, but, right, sure. Anyways, our brain teaser this morning. One in four people say they never do this at work. What is it? I know a couple people here. Oh, here? In this building? No, no, I guess everybody's... There's probably some people, actually. That This is sad. You're supposed to, like... Whoa, careful. Okay, I'll zip it. You're supposed to be in a... Okay. One in four people say they never do this at work. I think you should do this at least once a day. Otherwise, it's just so intense. Sure. Right. Does okay. that make sense? I don't know. I don't know what makes sense anymore. Okay. 727-B105. Call now. Good luck. You can win uh, Papa Murphy still. Okay. Uh, yep. All right. I got to find some more. We're getting down towards the end. B105 Breakfast Club, Ken and Lawrence, 723. Got your brain teaser question. Take it away, L-Dog. 
Oh, wow. Okay. One in four people say they never do this at work. What is it? That's kind of your nickname around here. Yeah, Lacey call calls me L Dog. Yeah. She doesn't talk to me. That's okay. All right. Well, let's dive into that after we get an answer for the brain teaser. One in four people say they never do this at work. Okay. 727-B105. We'll take some guesses. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do we got here? Hi, B105. What do you think? Uh, is it go to the bathroom? Um, not go to the bathroom, but I do know some people that will not go to the bathroom at work. What? Okay. Yeah. yeah. That can't yeah. be good for you. It's a thing. That's what I was thinking with the intense part. <laughs> <laughs> Very intense. Yes. Okay. Well, good luck today. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I know. I wish her good luck. <laughs> Hi, beautiful fly. What's your guess? Floss your teeth. Uh, not floss your teeth. Did you say floss your teeth? Yes. Are yeah. people doing that at work? I have. I clip my fingernails at work. You know that. It yeah, I sure do know that. Yeah. Okay, thanks for calling. What'd you say? Oh, I'm having a hard time hearing today. Hi, if you want to fly, what's your guess? Uh, leave their desk. Not leave their desk. That's a good guess, though, because I feel like people just sit in there all day. They don't do hot laps Absolutely. like me. Yeah, I nervous <laughs> right. pace all the time, so I don't sit still for more than 20 minutes. No. Okay, well, hey, have a good day. Thank you. You're welcome. Should take some more guesses here? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to give one more clue. I'm going to say some people are just crabby. Yep. Serious. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's see what we got. Hi, Beautiful Five. Uh, what's your guess? Brush your teeth? Not brush your teeth. Nothing to do with teeth. Okay. All right. How oh. do we get on the topic of teeth? I don't know. We've got another story there. Oh, hi. Beautiful Five. What's your guess? Hi. Is it take a break? Not take a break. Okay. Not take a break, Thank but you. thanks for learning. Yeah. It's a tough one. Oh, my gosh. Some people are just so serious. I'll tell you what. This is nothing to laugh about oh how serious God. this question is. Seriously. Well, we're running out of time. I know. One in four people say they never do this at work. Don't be so serious. Don't be so why so serious, right? We ran out of music here. Should yeah. Let's just keep it going. Yeah, let's just keep okay. it going. We just got to get an I'm answer. sad. Here. I don't want it to be sad. It's okay. I just thought it was an easy question. All right, let's go. Hi, beautiful fly. What's your guess? Is it really not laugh? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's. Uh, they don't ever laugh at work. What a oh man! I do want to know how we started. To, like how they like, get got on the topic of teeth. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, from the teeth to not laugh. <laughs> like one in four people floss their teeth at work. That'd be kind of gross. Maybe you have a floss pick. I can see it. Yeah. You know, or you carry a pocket toothbrush around. Yeah. Anyway, who's this? Who's this? Uh, Christine. Hey, Christine, congratulations. We've got some Papa Murphy's for you, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, hang on. You know, interesting thing about teeth, too, is we've got some dental hygienists duking it out on our Facebook page right now. Very big words are being used. <laughs> That's the all, and I, like, want to pop in there and be like, not on the B105 Facebook page, <laughs> so okay. you know? But uh, on the other hand, I don't want to get chewed out, so. we got dental hygienists fighting each other. Let's that. all hold hands, be friends, namaste. Namaste. Like. Yes. 726 B105 weather forecast up next. Okay, 101 Lauren, B105 Breakfast Club, 737 on uh what, Thursday? Mm-hmm. Sunny morning. Yeah. Not bad. Nice to see the sun. A little bit. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. This is where Lauren has to blindly explain a sports headline. We're getting trying to get her to be more well rounded individual with sports. I am know. a well rounded individual, but uh, you are, but sports I just mean are not sports. my thing. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Lauren, here's the headline. Ex-Vikings linebacker thinks Minnesota has too many nice people to win Super Bowl. Okay, I know we're known for being nice. Minnesota nice? Yeah, Minnesota nice. Can you read it one more time? Okay. Ex-Vikings linebacker thinks Minnesota has too many nice people to win a Super Bowl. Like, okay, that's easy. So a former member of the Vikings who's Mm -hmm. not on the Vikings anymore, he's saying the reason that we're not that good or we don't make it that far is because we're nice. Like, maybe we're just like, I don't know if he's referring to the fans or the team, but I do feel like maybe the team has nice players and they don't really want to go hard against the other team or they don't want to, like... Yeah, you're right on things. It. Well, that was an easy one. Well, I'm, I'm throwing and some I'm fine things. with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Aaron Henderson, former Vikings linebacker, says that uh, the Vikings are too nice to win a Super Bowl. He says, folks don't want to hear this, but as long as the Vikes locker room is filled with nice guys, they ain't going to win. He did a bunch of tweets on this. Attitude reflects leadership, and the Vikes are a nice family-oriented organization top to bottom. And also said Kevin O'Connell is just too nice. 
So, wow. I don't know. Yeah, I guess like football, you kind of have to be aggressive, but there's nothing saying that you can't be a nice person. Right. I think it's, I think there, I think you should be a good person, a nice yeah. person, but yeah, you can be aggressive on the field. Yeah. Right. If you want to win a Super Bowl, probably. I don't know. That I don't seems know much, be, but. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, you know, uh, Coach O'Connell actually got pretty good uh, A plus in the NFLPA's annual report card. So he's, you know, they think he's doing a good job. Yeah. Rough year last year, lots of injuries. I but. mean, I'd rather have them be nice than be like mean. Obviously, I'm sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, anyway, there you go. Uh, it's one with Lauren. We're gonna go with Lauren's country lowdown in a minute. Mm-hmm. You ready? Yeah. There's like so much tea, and I don't know if I should separate all the juicy stories. Or, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to do, so I'm going to figure it out. You got a couple minutes. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, Jordan Davis right now. It's Tucson. Lawrence Country Lowdown on B105. Okay, what's happening? Okay, I'm going to split up the tea because we can't have... Too much? Yeah, too much. So, Gabby Barrett, she's getting a little bit shady. So, she just did an Instagram Q&A. And, you know, she... Is I don't want to say already a controversial person, but she has she has um, said some things that have I think turned people off, kind of. Okay. Like, do you remember when she said, "I'm not going to sing a song with anyone other yeah. than my husband"? Yeah. Yeah. So she was doing a Q and A on her Instagram, and she was asked, "How does it feel to be?" Um, basically, they said, "How is your relationship with other female country artists?" And she said something that has people talking. She said, my whole life and music career, I've seen so many girls say they're for the girls, but they're not. She didn't say names, but she said, in my experience, these are the people who give you the cold shoulder and are only for the girls they like. It's sad, but it is what it is. So she's basically saying there's mean girls out there? Yeah, in country music. Wow. The females. So. Okay. I, you got to name names if you're going to say something <laughs> like this. <laughs> you just I'm leave it thinking, there. I need mean, all the gossip. Yeah, yeah, I know. Now I'm like, who, who is it? But anyway, she also just announced a show at Grand Casino Hinkley and tickets go on sale tomorrow. So you can um, grab those. B105country.com. This is interesting. Tim McGraw's nephew um, has a record deal now. He's only a sophomore in college. Mm, he I goes know. to Louisiana State. What's his name? His name is Timothy Wayne. He signed with a major record label. I've never heard of him. Um, but he says he's already working on his first album. Um, he's been performing around campus, and his record label says that he's bringing a new generation of country music fans to the genre. He sings about his country boy lifestyle growing up in Nashville. And Tim, I guess I didn't know about him because Tim posted a photo in the studio with him, and then he's also going to bring him out on tour as well. So I kind of feel like there might be some nepotism at play here. But, yeah. Um, well, I looked up Timothy so, Wayne. Oh. And the images I got, this is like a biker dude. I don't think that's there's him. There's a mug shot there. And then there. there's this is a serial killer named <gasps> Timothy Wayne. Oh, my. But I think it's this guy here. No, it's, yeah, it's the one it's down the in the corner. One. Yeah, he's yeah. going to be performing at CMA Fest. There's a mugshot. 44-year-old man arrested. I don't want to know what he was arrested for, to be honest, because that's a rough-looking mugshot. That's tough. Timothy Wayne. That's a lot of really bad-looking Timothy Waynes yeah. out there. So, anyways, I need to, like, hear some music from him, but I'm like, he's so young. He's only a sophomore, so. Oh, good for him. Yeah, we'll see. A little nepotism, maybe. It doesn't... <laughs> helps to have Tim McGraw's an uncle, I guess. No kidding, right? Uh, but last but not least, Megan Maroney, she has a new song coming out. It's called Indifferent. She's been teasing it a lot on social media, so that comes out May 3rd. She says she actually is just releasing it because she wants to play it on tour. She's going out with Kenny Chesney, and we'll have tickets all week, next week, so. One's the, one's the rest of the tea. Um, it's gonna have to wait till tomorrow. Oh, I know. You're killing me, girl. Okay. Wow. Are you <laughs> drinking Crystal Light over there? <laughs> no, it's Mountain Dew. That's oh, why I'm a little more okay. jacked today. A little more spark in me, you know? Yeah. A little bit. B105 Breakfast Club, Ken and Lauren. Good morning, 756. And today we are uh, looking uh, pretty good this morning with mm-hmm. sunshine, but tonight we got a chance of snow. A little bit light, light snow, mm-hmm. just a little bit, not a lot, not, not into even, it. not even for sure, not into it though. Yeah, but only like twenty percent chance for the twin pours. But we'll talk about that with uh, Brandon Weathers coming up at eight thirty. Also, B one hundred five cash cow, your first code coming up eight twenty. Mm-hmm. Win that money, help all with some stuff. You know? I thought you were gonna do like a rhyme. Win that money. I don't know. Sorry. What was I gonna rhyme though? I don't Why don't know. you go I ahead and do a rhyme? Why don't you do a rhyme? No. Win that money, honey. That's uh, what I was gonna say. Well. Darn. Okay, that's coming up on B105. B105 Breakfast Club, Ken and Lauren, good morning. It's Morgan Wallen, Eric Church, man made a bar. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? 
I'm doing good. I'm trying to remember something here, though. Okay. I could use some help. Okay. Memory lane back and then going back to the 1900s, kids. But anyway, no, the reason I bring this up is because the China Cafe building has been listed for nearly a million dollars. It's right on London Road. Does it come with the China Cafe? Well, no, no. Um, it says that as for the future of China Cafe, a family member of the business told, this is from Fox 21, Dan, I think Dan did this? Yeah, Dan did this. Uh, told Fox 21 on Wednesday that the restaurant has been its location for roughly 20 years and she didn't know what would happen when the building was sold. Hmm. Hmm. So we don't know what's happening there. But I'm trying to remember, this building, I think, was a Godfather's Pizza back in the day, wasn't it? See, I think that was before my time. It'd have to be because it's been like 20 years there. I mean, you wouldn't, you may not have even been born at this point. Okay, well, thank you. I think that there, was it, was it a Godfather's Pizza? Does anybody know for sure? People love to talk about Godfather's Pizza. I know there was a Godfather's Pizza up by the Miller Hill Mall car wash because for my 10th birthday party on our way to Grand Slam in Canal Park, we stopped at that Godfather's. No, mm-hmm. I was on the way home because God, they had then they had the air hockey table and everything. Oh, so much fun. But anyway, um, yeah, the one on London Road, the China Cafe building. It's the, it, it's the white, uh, it got a red outline on the trim and whatever. I mm-hmm. don't know. Someone let me know. Was that the Godfather's? I think it was back in the day, but it's been the China Cafe for, you know, decades. Is the China now. Cafe closed? No, it's still open. It's oh. business as usual. Okay. So, but yeah, $995,000. Hmm. Hey, you win $30,000 coming up. You, you could put that towards that. <laughs> that would make a little ding in that. Yeah, a little bit of a down payment help there, you know? Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, B105 Cash Cow coming up in just a couple minutes here on The Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren. <laughs> Carrie Underwood on B105. It's Breakfast Club with Ken and Lauren. I was asking about this, uh, the new China Cafe or the China Cafe building on London Road. Mm-hmm. Yeah, China Cafe building. It's been listed for almost a million dollars, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, businesses as usual, it's still continuing to stay open and they don't know what's going to happen after it closes. But then I was asking, I think I remember that being a Godfather's Pizza back in the old 1900s. Sounds delicious. And I said, did anybody remember that? I got a call coming in. Hey, B105. Yeah, it used to be a Godfather. Do you remember that? Yeah, I used to eat there a lot. I know. Why did Godfathers? What what happened to Godfathers? I I don't know. And they even the one in Spirit. Yeah, I know. I remember they had. They used to have a buffet too. Oh. Yeah. Man, that was something. Okay. Well, hey, is this Nabisco Joe? It is. Got any new flavors of Oreos you want to drop off? I was just off? wondering that. Um, but they are coming out here in the next month, so. What, do I'll you know, bring them in. Do you know what they are? I do. You can't tell us? Is it a top secret a Nabisco? Uh, I can't say. Oh, Joe. All right. Well, whisper right. to me You'll later. You'll be surprised. <laughs> I always am. Okay, thanks, man. You have right. a good day. All right. You do. Yep. You know why so many of Godfather's Pizzas closed? No. They changed their business model about 30 years ago. <gasps> that would be in the 90s. That's when all the stuff. So they said that okay. they no longer invest in real estate and they just want to do the to-go and delivery stuff. So they, have to, they don't have to manage restaurants or hire servers or deal with the overhead. Mm, okay. I, I hear so many stuff. people talking about it. I still do it. You can get it, Gary. Um, at Gary No Duluth, they got a, a to-go spot there. You know what I mean? So maybe That's we should make a pil- pilgrimage right. to Gary. Beautiful Gary New Duluth. Okay. Along the shores of St. Louis River. With a Godfather's Pizza. Hey, your chance to win cash coming up next with the B105 Cash Cow after Blake. Jason Aldean, my kind of party on B105. And here's a little party that happened in Florida. Okay. It's always Florida. Yeah, it does does show up quite a bit. Yep. Here's the headline. Uh, Drunk Clearwater captain fell off boat while 30 people were attending tour. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, not um, good. Fifty-three-year-old boat captain was uh, was bringing people out to look at dolphins. I think he was a was a captain of the Clearwater Fun Boat. Well, he apparently was having a great time. Um, witnesses say that uh, he showed up um, when he showed up at the dock. He was stumbling and had food all over his face. Never good. That's not good. Nope. There was thirty people attending the boat tour. And he fell off the boat, had to be drugged back in. That's when uh, the police and authorities were called. And uh, that's not good. So Coast and Guard's investigating as well. As well. <laughs> right. Not that that's what matters in this case, but. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're the captain of the boat. You can't be falling off the boat, right? Mm-hmm. At least drunk falling off the boat. Right. And also, like, I don't want to know if the captain is drunk. <laughs> that's just anxiety that you don't need, you know? 
Right. Well, now you go on. If you ever go on a fun boat tour, Jake Owen, Barefoot Blue Jean Night on B105. Going to be uh, a little while before we get that kind of weather. Right. Uh, as we're looking at a little bit of snow overnight and tomorrow, we'll talk more about that coming up. And then also the workday kickoff mm-hmm. on a Thursday. This week seems like it's been going by fast. I would agree with that. Why is that? I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I don't Actually, know, but it has gone by fast. Tuesday and Wednesday weather kind of had me down with that gloominess and the wind and the rain. It was hard to rain. get motivated. Yeah, yeah. But now the sun's up. It's like a whole new day. I did like go work out in the rain twice. I know. And I, I sent you a text message. I was proud of you. Because, like, I just, you got, you got to find the motivation on days like that. I napped on the couch for two hours on that day. so I'm jealous. You did do your workout for me, so I appreciate yep. that. Okay, workday kickoff next on B105. B105, the Northland's number one for new country with the workday kickoff. Tomorrow's Friday, which means we have sure Breakfast is. Club confessions. I got a whole I, bunch of them. I have one that I'm, like, scared to say because it's, like, gross, but it happened yesterday. Another hair in your food? No. Oh. It was my doing this time. So you're hair in somebody else's food? It has nothing to do with hair and food. Oh, okay. Well, usually... It just was a little oopsie oh. that I did. And then um, it was it was embarrassing when I realized. Tomorrow at 740, I had a bunch of problems. B105, the Northland's number one for new country. And uh, Lauren and I are going to step aside. We'll be back for your cash cow code words uh, at 1020 vote today. Mm-hmm. So I'll be listening for that. Joe Danger is skipping and whistling his way in here. He's in a great mood today, so he's going to take over in the B105 